Thanks for joining us for our beginner Flutter tutorial series. Today we're going to learn how to break up your code into separate files to make it easier to find and manage. This is video four in the Flutter image download tutorial series. The full code is available on GitHub in the description of the playlist. Future videos will explain how to manage the local storage of your Windows computer to get the directories for the pictures folder to store the files into and how to save the files. We'll also cover how to manage the network, how to send a GET request with HTTP out to an image server or a camera, and then download all the images to the local Windows Pictures folder. In the initial architecture plan, I had the buttons, which are smaller GUI components, and the screens, which are bigger GUI components in the same folder. I'm going to break out the buttons into a smaller GUI section called GUI components and then drop the GUI sections into that top level folder called GUI. When you move the home screen into the GUI sections, you're going to have to make sure that the imports match up. You can either type it in manually or oftentimes control dot will bring up the proper selection for you. You can just select it from the menu. Delete the unused imports to make your code easier to read. Within the GUI folder, we're going to create another subfolder called GUI components so that we can drop the button in there. Although we only have one button, I thought it was better to break up the GUI into the smaller components and the larger components. Extract the text button as a separate widget. On VS Code, if you click on the widget, there's a light bulb on the left hand side. So if you use that as a menu, it's the last uh, menu item on the row. And then in the top box, you need to type in the new name of the widget that you want to create. We'll just call ours Get Image Button. Now we have this new widget called get image button that's in the same file that it was originally in. We're going to cut and paste it into a new file. So under the GUI components, create a new file called get image button dot dart, and then cut and paste it from the home screen dot dart file into this new file, get image button. This will make the home screen dot dart file easier to read and your code will be generally easier to manage if you break them to these smaller files. In the new file, you're going to need to import the missing libraries. Either use control dot or import it manually. Just type in at the top. Generally on my system, for some reason, provider does not appear. So I have to type it, uh, I have to type it in manually. On line 15, the reason that context dot read originally it was orange was because it's that read is from provider. Since you just took out the get image button out of the home screen file, you're going to go need to go back into the home screen file and import that widget. To make the code easier to manage on the home screen, we're going to also extract out the response window from the home screen into a separate window here. So let's create a new file called response window. And then we're going to extract the, win the widget out from the home screen and drop it into that section now. The response window is the second of the two expanded widgets. Extract the widget. It will be in the same file. And then after it, it's saved in the same file, then cut it and place it into the new file that you created. So in this new response window, you're going to also have to import the libraries, the dependencies that are missing, the same process. There's the response notifier file, and then you're going to have to manually type in the import for provider. Back in the home screen, you'll now need to import the file that has the response window in it. Next, let's extract out the button row. 
So the window that has the top button section, we're, we're not going to extract it out. Call it button window. Under the GUI sections folder, create a new file called button underscore window dot dart and cut and paste the widget that you just created the for the a button window into this new file and repeat the process. So again, it's just importing the libraries to make sure that the dependencies are all met. In the home screen, you'll need to import the dependency for the button window. And then there's several imports that are now redundant, so we can delete the unused imports. Congratulations. We're done reorganizing the code for our GUI section of our application. This will allow you or your team members to more easily find the different components of the GUI. You can also assign a person to restructure the design or the functionality of a component such as a button, the home screen, the button window, or the response window. This makes it easier to break up the code into different teams, or it also makes it easier for you to find the code that you wrote if you need to edit it in the future. The next grouping of code that we're going to work on is the local storage where we're going to find out how to grab the folders location on your Windows computer. Specifically, we're going to look for the pictures directory. In the future, we'll also we'll deal with the network, how to grab the images from the network or the camera, download them, and then save them to the pictures directory. Subscribe to the channel so you can get updates when we complete the future tutorials. If you like this type of tutorial, give this video a like and we'll use the feedback to improve our content production in the future. Have a great day.